In this video, let's learn about the use selector hook, which is used to get hold of any state that is maintained in the Redux store. For our example, we need to access the number of cakes which is stored in the cake slice and displayed in the cake view component. Let's see how to do that. First, we need to import use selector from React Redux. Next, within the component, call use selector. This hook accepts a function as its parameter. And this function is called a selector function. It receives the Redux state as its argument. The function can then return a value. For our example, we return state dot cake dot number of cakes. Here, state refers to the Redux state which contains multiple reducers. Cake reducer is one of them and is referred by the key cake. So we access that. Then we tap into the number of cakes property which you can see in the cake slice. The use selector hook basically returns whatever is returned by the selector function. So let's save that value. const number of cakes is equal to use selector. The final step is to include this constant in the JSX. Number of cakes, curly braces, number of cakes. If I now go back to the browser, you can see we are now able to access the state value from the Redux store. The number of cakes is 10, which we see being displayed in our cake view. Now I want you to pause for a minute and display the number of ice creams in the Redux store in the ice cream view. Let's compare code after that. All right, the steps remain the same. In ice cream view .jsx, at the top, import use selector from React Redux. Invoke the hook inside the component. Pass in a selector function that selects the number of ice creams. So this receives the Redux state, and we access state dot ice cream dot number of ice creams. Store it in a constant called number of ice creams and render it in the JSX. So we have number of ice creams set to 20 in our ice cream slice. And if I head back to the browser, we should see the same value being displayed. So to read data from the Redux store in a React component, we use the use selector hook. It is sort of a wrapper around store.getState. In the next video, let's see how to dispatch actions on click of the order and restock buttons.